So I was debating upon what I should do a BMX React video on this week, and I remembered that there was a comment left on my previous BMX React with Scotty Kramer's sentenced to life section that I should react to Mike Aitken's sentenced to life section. And I wasn't sure if I wanted to do that. I looked at a couple other things, and then I realized I'm wearing a fit shirt. How could I not react to the Mike Aiken video? So here we are to react to Mike Aiken's sentenced to life section from 2006. And before we get into it, like always, I wanna give a little bit of backstory on the video itself. First of all, this is uploaded to the Snakebite BMX YouTube channel. That video is linked in the description down below. This whole entire thing was filmed and edited by Brian Purdy, came out in 2006, and there's not a ton of info online about it. If you watched my Scotty Kramer react, you're like, you might understand and remember, but there's an IMDB page on this one. It's directed and made by Brian Purdy, and it's, this is a documentary of six BMX riders traveling throughout the US, Canada, Japan, and Australia. They show off their unique riding skills and different individual styles. The six riders on the DVD are Dave Mira, Josh Harrington, Matt Berenger, Mike Aiken, Ryan Gutler, and Scotty Kramer. So this is what we can find on here. There's a little bit down here in the storyline, but it's the same thing. Ooh, more information. Release date, March 14, 2006. Production company, budget, 250 grand. Dang. Next, there's a review by Andy Zeiss on Fat BMX that was written in March of 2006. I went through this whole thing already, but you can see here, this is the cover, or the back cover of the DVD. And all of this is here. You can read the review if you want to. There's a bonus section with Mira Harrington Kramer interviews, bonus riding with Rob Darden. And yeah, you can check that out if you want to. I'll link that in the IMDb in the description down below. But I think we've talked enough about it in the previous BMX React that you haven't watched with Scotty Kramer's section in this. You should. So now, without any further delay, let's get into Mike Aiken Sensed. In my opinion, is one of the most talented, creative, interesting riders I've ever seen. Because Mike Aiken no music to is it. a rider that'll show up at a new park, and before most guys even get their pads on, Mike's already conquered the park and earned the respect from the locals. At the end of the day, in my Checks eyes, out. Mike's pretty untouchable. Mike's pretty untouchable, and here's the song. Just a legend. Mike Aiken is a legend. I mean, look at that wall ride to 180 from 2005. Beautiful no foot cans too. Rail manual gap, rail manual. <laughs> oh my gosh. Perfect table in a concrete bowl. What's next? Jumping it back the other way. Foot plant on a rail. Nice big look back. Turn down, switch the pedals. Back, turn down the other way. Over, what in the heck was that? That was crazy. Three to fakie on a vert wall. Ice bunk. Wait. Hmm. Down whip to disaster was amazing. I mean, it's already got variety. So much variety in just a minute. Jeez, that nose jam is nuts. Nice little, nice little street line. Big hip, big map, beautiful turn down. I think that was the Asado Canadian Park. I, I'm i struggling. Oh my gosh, pegless ice to tap. I'm struggling with the overexposure though. Makes it hard. 180, look back. I have no idea what's opposite and regular right now. Giant gap. Okay. Little nolly tire slide thingy. In the trails, the one foot tape, tape the other way. Is that a pegless ice to fakie on a big sub in the streets? Crank it fast, turn down, gapping. Mike Aiken, such a legend. Jeez, big tabletop transfer, hopping over the rail. Sub foot jam, like. How well-rounded this is is amazing. That was a tight turn. 
the more amazing turndowns. Just cruising the bull. Also, this is a Lucero song if you guys didn't know what song was in it. Nice manual foot plant 180. Another manual gapping into the bull. Timeless. Hurricane on a steep quarter. Jeez, that's wild. In the streets, manual foot plant 180. Okay, okay. Big wall ride 180 step up. That's a cool setup too. Riding. Is that a pool or is that a skate park? Looks like a pool. Coming out to the manual. Dropping right back in. Pegless double peg. Foot jamming. Oh, that's a cool channel gap. And probably really hard to ride. 270 tap. Oh my gosh. So Oppo 270 tap. Pegless ice. Huge wall slap. Was that a bar spin in there? We're going to have to investigate. You have five over that rail. Massive 180. Look back. Transfer into the bowl. Probably scary as hell. Just doing it though. No big deal. Alley you Look back. I mean, he's riding this skate park like somebody who's ridden this skate park their entire life. And I wouldn't be surprised if they showed up 20 minutes before that. That was a big manual. Hello. How you doing? Napa, we don't care about you. Come on. I just want to replay the video, please. Pretty please. Thank you. Okay, replay the video. No audio. Let's click through this thing. Huge wall ride 180 to fakie. I mean, imagine just wall riding that. That's six feet up. Then saying, okay, I'm going to spin to a fakie out of it. Crazy. Beautiful no foot cam. I want to pause it on that. Just whew, beautiful. Oh, wait. I want to show this too because there's that rail gap, rail manual. That was nuts. The overexposure is kind of tough. Flowing around this bowl. The foot plant over that is sick. Riding trails, doing turndowns both directions. One way, switch your feet. Other way, gotta love it. I think I might, I need to turn, I need to bring back Oppo turndowns. I learned them for like a week. This, crazy, because look where his foot is and his pedal. It has to, has to be over that. How did he even? He's behind it with the sprocket. That is pretty nuts. Nice G turn. Oh, this is the thing that I was talking about from earlier that he fived over. Down whip to disaster. That is so sick. Nice three to fakie in the streets again. This nose jam, like it's hard to really tell what's going on here, but that nose jam is nuts because of the fact that he's in that rail pocket. Nice little street gap over the rail, big turn down. This, I believe, is maybe not. It looked like the Osado Canadian Park, but it's probably not. Pegless Ice to tap. Another Pegless Ice, but I think, is this Pegless Ice on that rail gap thing that he did? Like, I can't tell because it's so overexposed. Foof to foot jam, nice. Massive gap drinking game when I use the word massive in trails that ice to fakie on the huge sub out of the street bank without a peg I'm not going to say it but I want to say it this also not going to say it but I want to say it try not to use that word too much it's a pretty big sub to be doing a foot jam on and just the well-rounded streak continues. And then you do this wall ride. You know, you're wall riding to the right, pocket airing to the left with a perfect look back. 
the technical aspects of his writing. I'm going to say, I don't know if this is a hot take anymore. I think it might just be fact that goofy footed riders have progressed and changed BMX more than regular footed riders. It sure feels that way when you think about all of the different goofy footed riders in BMX. This hurricane on a really steep quarter, you can just see the vert there. Super good. Street foot plant 180s. This is just a cool setup. I'm trying to get to that 540. I couldn't tell if he barstened in that or not, but it kind of looked like a cool little channel, channel tape. So this is the spin to pegless ice to fakey out of a sub. Whew. Man, not. Big wall slap. Okay, so it was just the video glitching funny. He did not bar spin in that. But that's still pretty intense. 540 out of what looks like pretty steep transition. And then you're going over a rail. Scary. I guess it might be more of a 360. Either way, nutso. Mike Aiken, one of the goats in BMX. Got to be on your goat list. If he's not, what are you doing? Who's on your goat list? Leave it in the description or comments down below. And maybe if there's some good ones down there. You'll give me a BMX React episode to do in the future. So on that note, that has been Mike Aiken, Sentenced to Life section from 2006. Absolutely fantastic. Worth the watch. Hit the links in the description below to learn more and watch it with the music. And I hope that I will see you tomorrow for another video and next week for another BMX React. Thanks for watching. We'll see you then.